must have been full of whiskey at the time to keep him warm because today it's like Siberia. <laughs> <laughs> this lovely MGH wind camp has just arrived with us. 13,000 miles since a very, very thorough restoration has been carried out. Properly cared for since. Lots of bills. It's, as, it's really nice actually because so many twin cams were messed about with over the years. This one is to the original specification. All correct instrumentation and so forth. Which is properly maintained. All good weather equipment. Willans competition harnesses fitted. And uh, just 2,111 were built. So they were not a common car in their day. Twin cam engine was developed from the original B series unit. All proper and correct. It's got a fan too. Yeah, electric fan, yes indeed. But they had a, had a reputation of not being particularly reliable in their day, but I think that was basically rather like Triumph Stags many years later. They've got to be maintained properly, and if you look after them, they look after you. Regular oil changes, of course, are important. And of course, as the aficionados will know, you can tell a twin cam by the knockoff Dunlop wheels. And of course, the twin cam badges. And the interior, of course, has the seats which were unique to this car and the MGA Deluxe. So they're a little bit more luxurious than the standard MGA seats. She's got a very nice period wood rim steering wheel. And the, uh, the exterior mirrors correctly fitted on the screen pillars. Just a lovely car in every way. And that special exhaust mode that the twin cam has. Avon radials, 